What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, AKA All Fires. Now admittedly, it feels a tad bit ridiculous to look past the end of the multiverse saga with at least three, if not more years between now and then, two Avengers films and a ton of question marks left on the phase five and phase six slate, some of which we hope that Marvel will announce this summer at D23 or San Diego Comic-Con. But in the meantime, Marvel Studios is a machine that intends on rolling way past the multiverse saga and Avengers Secret Wars. And because of how long it takes to develop up these films, we now have a sneak peek at what's to come next, including a huge production confirmation for the X-Men and coming right around the corner and an industry insider weighing in to clarify exactly when we can expect the MCU X-Men reboot to release. We've got it all for you, the latest updates breaking today regarding the new X-Men film in the MCU. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button. We do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is right around the corner to coincide with X-Men 97's finale next month. Again, all you gotta do, be a sub, leave a comment. If you want, stick around to the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so the news actually broke early this morning when Production Weekly posted an update for multiple MCU projects that are about to go in production over the next two years. Shang-Chi 2 is set to start production in March 2025, and in fact, The Hollywood Reporter would confirm this later in the day when they said that Destin Daniel Cretton is wrapping up on Wonder Man now and working on Shang-Chi 2 currently. They then revealed that Armor Wars, a project that some of us had speculated might have been canceled due to some quotes from Disney's president Bob Iger, is actually set to begin production in 2025 as well. They then updated us in another project we thought for sure might be canceled at Disney Plus, that's Vision Quest. It will start production at the end of this year. But the major bombshell was that the X-Men reboot will apparently begin its production in late 2025. And this following on the reports from earlier this year and from the Hollywood trades that Marvel Studios was already fielding pitches from writers. Now there's quite a bit of time between now, early 2024, and what Production Weekly is saying for when they'll start production. And so I really forgive anybody who got super excited because you see stuff like Shang-Chi 2 going into production next year too, know that that's gonna be part of the multiverse saga. Same with Armor Wars. Then you see X-Men going into production and there were those who were sort of saying, does this mean the X-Men are going to show up? We're gonna get that rebooted film and before the end of the multiverse saga, especially since a lot of us, myself included, think that Secret Wars is gonna end up getting pushed at least another year. Well, industry insider Daniel Rickman weighed in later in the day regarding this exact report and said that the plan was still to have the X-Men reboot released after Avengers Secret Wars and after the end of the multiverse saga. What we suspect will be the kickoff for what we're loosely calling the mutant saga, as it's already been heavily reported by Hollywood trades that we trust, that while Marvel Studios focused on the Avengers for the first two sagas, the focus of the next saga will be primarily the X-Men and mutants, and of course, the Fantastic Four. Now, don't be bummed that we're not gonna get an X-Men reboot and during the multiverse saga, because the truth is, is we will have some X-Men involved in Avengers Secret Wars, if you've been paying attention, there's a reason that Kevin Feige wants to bring back all of these characters one after another. The Marvels, Multiverse of Madness, of course, Deadpool, and we assume a couple of others as we get closer and closer to the Multiverse Saga. It's just not going to be the rebooted team. That's going to exist as the kickoff for once the Multiverse is sort of reformed or what we're still calling affectionately a soft reboot. Although at this point, I don't know how much the word reboot actually applies to the plans going forward because there's still gonna be a ton of characters, say like the Fantastic Four, Blade, other actors who just came into the MCU to portray those characters who are gonna carry on those portrayals and way after the multiverse saga is done. That being said, I'm gonna be super curious to see who they decide to install as a director on this film only because we got one specific take of the X-Men and so many times over at Fox and I know that Kevin Feige, of all the projects that he's going to want to do differently than the ones that were done before, the X-Men are gonna be at the top of his list. And I think it starts with the directors and the writers for how you're going to shape that movie and make it different than the X-Men that we've already seen before. And I think another huge part of that is going to be which members they decide 
to have on the team. That being said, I know the debate is going to run great when we finally get there, and so I'm okay with having a couple of years off debating which characters will and won't, should and shouldn't be part of the team, and which actors should betray them. But guys, I'm all ears, as always, down in the comments. Let me know all your thoughts and reactions to this. How exciting is it, though, that we're getting closer and closer to the X-Men reboot in the MCU? Super stoked with all the stuff that's been coming out. Keep it peeled here at the channel for updates and news. We have a ton that we got to get through in the next couple of days. Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s here at the channel, and we're going to continue to do so until the PlayStation 5 Pro comes out, and then we'll switch over. In the meantime, we just announced a brand new winner for the launch of X-Men 97. In fact, he just DM'd me on Instagram, showed me a picture. He just got it this past weekend. We'll have another winner next month to coincide with the finale of X-Men 97. If you want to be entered to win, or for any of the other future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below and because it's truly random. Them. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will always be announced live in the end of the video with my voice in the winning comment shown on screen. If you liked today's video, I'd sincerely appreciate it if you hit the like button. And the best way to keep up with the content here at the channel is to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. Please stay safe and vigilant on any YouTube channel where prizes are given away regularly. Years ago, we dealt with a problem that apparently is still rampant on the platform as they've been targeting my friends' channels. That is to say, if you're anywhere, Instagram, YouTube, any platform, and you should get a comment, please try to remember that anybody can take a content creator's photo, claim to be that content creator, and the whole room is to comment that you've won something and then get you to respond. Never share your information on a third party app like Telegram or WhatsApp. And please try to remember that no content creator, not myself or anyone else, will ever charge you for the shipping if you win a prize for that channel. That's a dead giveaway that it's a scam. Be safe, be vigilant, and if you should get a comment like that, again on any platform, report the comment directly to the platform. YouTube is super fast about deleting those comments and you're really doing everybody at the community a service, not just helping out the content creator, but but everywhere that account has commented now disappears. So just think of how many people you're saving going through the same mess. The best way to keep up with the content at the channel has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. Find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at Amfires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music with the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.